I'm John Stinson. Uh, I'm one of the module leaders here for architectural technology at Napier University. Uh, and I'm Amy Dixon and I'm a third year architectural technologist but I'm also a college mentor through the widening participation team. And we're here to speak about the things you should know about studying architectural technology at Edinburgh Napier University. Mostly because of our, our reputation uh, amongst the, the industry, amongst the construction industry and the design in industry, uh, but also because we're only one of 33 institutions in the UK and Ireland that teach AT. And do you know how many there are in Scotland? There's two in Scotland, um, but what about the Centre of Excellence? Good question. <laughs> yeah, we, we recently got our Centre of Excellence accreditation re-accredited. So uh, we're only one of four, you know, out of 33, only one of four um, that have that Centre of Excellence. Your three core modules are Architectural Technology, Building Design and Technology and Building Modelling. Architectural Technology and Building Design and Technology run all through your four years at university and Building Model is currently in first year, however, uh, it and is now, and second year. it's now going into second year as well. So. Yeah, they're going to be your main modules throughout. Yes, and then you've got other support modules then that go around the, the AT and the building design technology mm -hmm. where you'll be um, studying the, the theories and practices of project management. And then you got your engineering modules. Mm -hmm. Have you done any engineering? So we've got modules? building engineering, so I had that in my second year and I'm going to have it this year in the next trimester as well. Yep, so that, uh, is, is it math heavy? Do you find this very math? Uh, not at all, no, to be honest. What I found really funny was, um, even though I did higher maths at school, I really struggled, right. um, especially logarithms. But then the minute I got here and I got taught it here, I passed my exam with an A, not to ah, toot my own horn. Wow. But I actually did really, really good in maths in the end, so... Very good, well done. This actually helped me a lot. Possibly because it's applied, you know why you're trying to solve the problem? Yeah, well that's it, exactly. Yeah. I knew why I was doing it. So uh, studying AIT at uh, Edinburgh Napier University, you're assessed in, in one of three ways. It's uh, project work, which is individual projects and group projects, and also uh, examinations. But in, in second year and, and third year, it's mostly project work, isn't it? Yeah, it is mostly project work, but there is a large jump I found between second year and third year, especially on my individually based work. Okay. So by the time I got into third year, it was a lot more focused on your construction details and actually how you create your own building mm -hmm. and sort of having your own flair. Oh, yeah, so it lets you kind of grow as a designer. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I feel like in second year, you're just kind of getting on your feet, you're understanding construction details, but then by third year, you can be your own person. So there's quite a few facilities for you to use here at Napier. Um, primarily you'll probably be in here which is E27, so this is our design studio. Um, but also we have our design shop downstairs. We also have Jack Kilby which is our computer suite and the library. And in all these facilities, um, sorry, in all these places are all the facilities you can use to do all your work. So one of the big changes that's happened here and the IT programme is that you've moved away from doing a dissertation in fourth year uh, to doing a, a design project and it continues on that theme of um, doing individual projects and group projects through, through the different years. So um, there's lots of different ways to prepare for studying to Edinburgh Napier. Um, obviously everybody's going to be apprehensive about something but the widening participating team are always there and they're a group of people who are here to help those who are maybe coming from college backgrounds or work or from school, it can be anybody and they're there to help with any daft questions, anything like that. But you've also got your module leaders, um, current students, previous students, because I know I've always got a daft question and I've been here for two years and I always ask a daft question. <laughs> I think from an AT perspective, the most important thing about preparing to be here is just prepare to, to want to learn mm, and just be definitely. really enthusiastic. Because mm -hmm. we pretty much deliver and teach all the really core stuff but you can't teach enthusiasm, you can't, mm -hmm. teach, you can't teach that. So yeah. if that's there, then that's just, just bring that. And I think the big message to myself is that we have this design studio, use it. That and, um, yeah, that and just be confident with, the, with your lectures. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think if I was to say anything to myself, 
with when I was coming from well college and then work to here I think I was saying to myself just be confident don't be afraid to go up and speak to your lecturers yeah. speak to your other classmates everything like that and don't be afraid to come up and sit in the design studio yes. for hours on end yes. eat your breakfast lunch and dinner here like nobody's going to judge you yeah it's everybody's going to do it at one stage absolutely mm -hmm.